Alicia and today I have another vlog for you. So this is my last Pony Club show of the year. So it is the Berrima Tulip Time Gymkhana. And I mean, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> there's a few hacking classes, which I'll do. Um, and then there's sporting and show jumping. So I'm pretty keen for that. I'm not really in the mood for hacking today. So I mean, I will see how that goes because I'm really not... I just, I'm not feeling it, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to go get Jep. What I'm wearing is basic. I have showed you guys many times what I wear to pony club shows, so I'm not going to go through it, but I am wearing my Mac and Mold trading jumper. Yeah, so I'm going to go get Jep and <coughs> we'll be off soon. Hey. Hi. <laughs> So Jeff is just eating her breakfast and she's munching away. She's actually had quite a lot of it already. Um, she's got her shipping boots on, the float's getting hitched up, so I'm about to put her on. Don't put your finger in her ear. Now she's grumpier than she already was. Oh. <laughs> she's like, please leave me alone. <laughs> Jeffy's ready to go. How to make your pony look fake because in hacking that's what they like. They like your pony to look like a doll. So we go like a doll. So we're making her face all defined and shiny so she looks perfect. You know I wasn't looking at you and you're saying. Putting her false tail in. If you could take a photo of her from side. So this is the warm up for the first class, and this is Pony Club Mount. So this is just the ring, as they call it. So they do the first judging on the ring, then they put you in a workout and like they pick their favourites from the ring to go in the workout. Now a workout was done for each class and I made it to every workout. So here's the ring from Pony Club Mount. I'm not going to show pretty much anything of the ring work just because I think the workout's more interesting because you get to see Jeff and I a lot better. So this is the, our workout for Pony Club Mount. Now we had to go through the poles as you saw halfway through because I didn't get the start of it. Then you pop over a jump, just a little jump because some of these horses are just hacking horses and you have to get the right lead, which Jep did. And so then we do a um, jumpers canter as um, the judge called it. So just sitting lightly in the seat, rising up into the canter um, on a loose rein which is seen here then we can so it's a full circle we canter around and then back to the barrel pick up a sack and take it to the next one and just show that my horse is relaxed and happy to do anything because a pony club mount class is just showing that your horse is a perfect pony club mount <laughs> and then the last thing to do was a trot on a long rein back to the judge and then as we get back to the judge we have to do a um, few steps backwards So this is a workout for our rider class. I was not happy with how this workout went, mainly because Jeff was constantly fighting against me. As you'll be able to see a bit, she opens her mouth a few times and there she just tried to go into a canter. She was just very forward and just really fighting against me with the contact and everything. So it just looked messy and then on top of that point there when she fell into the canter, later on she also falls back into a canter. 
um, and there's a few stages where you'll see her mouth open because <laughs> it's us arguing almost like she's just being really headstrong trying to fight against me and that's how it ends up looking so I wasn't too worried about this cantilead her right cantilead was quite nice and quite soft there's a few moments that aren't the best her left cantilead wasn't very nice at all you can see her mouth open a little bit because I was a bit too strong because we were just fighting against each other and because all she wanted to do was just go and I was like please no please and here again she falls into a canter and then I pull her back to stop her she keeps going and I sit deep and she's still just yeah so that's how that ended up looking. I know I'm far from perfect as seen in this class that was horribly ridden by me. I take full responsibility for that and I am very sorry for that you had to watch that. <laughs> Okay, so I've never been so happy with a Pez as much as I was this time. As you guys know that Jep is not the fondest of doing pairs with other horses, especially other mares, and she, there's been two situations where she's bucked and, like, in the can of transition, out at the mare and tried to kick them. This time in the ring she was beautiful, our can of transitions were lovely, and she did not once buck and same with the workout in this pairs it was just so perfect they worked so well together and I was very happy with both of the ponies so can we just appreciate both Cookie and Jep for our first time doing it together um without bucking and they don't these horses don't know each other very well they've only done pairs a couple times so it's pretty good <laughs>
I couldn't say no to her because it is so pretty and it's a once off, she's not making any more. It's going to fit Maggie Jazz. How beautiful is it? How could I say no to that? With the camera about? Okay, so here's my 65 centimeter jump round. Now, keep in mind, this is based off optimum times. If you don't know what an optimum time jump round is, it's pretty much it's a set time um, that they want you to stick to. Whoever gets closest to the optimum time will obviously win. Now, I know that Jeff has a very, very, very fast <laughs> jump round usually, so we're not too good at doing optimum times. This is our second time doing an optimum time jump round, so I really just tried to take it slow for Jep at least, which is why her head's in the air so much. But yeah, I'll just let you watch the rest of the round and then the jump off is also based on optimum time.
is just munching on whatever is left of her hay. Wow, you're grumpy. So, we have finished for the day and we are just waiting for presentation. So she's had a wash and she's nice and clean and she has no fluffy frizzy mane anymore. Nice tail, clean, no, no quarter marks anymore. I mean, they're kind of still there, but yeah. So we're waiting for presentation. We had a clear show jump around both rounds. We had, we went double clear in our show jumping and actually got first in that. We already got our ribbon for it because we were in the first round because it was optimum time. First round, we were a second off the optimum time. And then in the jump off, we were 0.4 of a second off our jump off the optimum time. And I tried to use my optimum time watch, but then they were like, oh, you're not allowed to because you can only use them in eventing. So I was freaking out because I thought I'd go so too fast and nowhere near the optimum time. But I just held her back and we managed to get like spot on. Hey, Bob. Hey, mate. What you doing? It's like, I want Jep. No. Maybe should, it's easier. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no. <"Mar." laughs> One more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough now. Just put Jet back and we are home, obviously. Kai's in, I'll be scratching himself. <laughs> what are you doing? Come see Jep. <laughs> Um, I'm so happy because as you would have seen we got age champion that's the second pony club show in a row that we've got age champion I'm very very happy I'm my lips are really burnt so I'm struggling right now but this means that we accomplished all our goals that I had set for 2016 which I'm so so happy about so one of my goals which I achieved in February was to get a champion or supreme I got a supreme in bending so that was my first goal completed my second goal was to bring home a rug which we did and my third goal was to make it through a show jump course double clear which we've done countless times now and as you guys know if you've been with me for a while show jumping has been our weak point since I bought Jep we had many problems doing courses and stuff nothing ever went our way either refusals or rails just it was so messy and I'd nearly given up oh she's rolling <laughs> um yeah so the fact that we have accomplished quite a few clear rounds now not only just clear rounds but winning rounds countless times now is just absolutely unbelievable and I was a little bit disappointed because I was like oh damn haven't gotten my rug goal for this year because I hadn't ever I've never gotten a rug before and um the fact that on our second last show of the year we won that oh made me so happy so this year has honestly been the best year horse wise ever this is our second year of competing and we have brought home three reserve champions, one supreme for bending, and two age champions, as well as an age champion rug, and obviously other ribbons and places on top of that, but I'm just talking about the big things, and making it through our show jumping and cross country courses, starting eventing. It's just honestly been such a good year, and I've already set my goals for next year, so I'm gonna tell you guys them. One is to get flying changes, and yes, I know she changes her front end, but she doesn't change her hind, in flying changes so that's what we want to do next year two is to bring home a champion ribbon because we've bring home we've brought home age champions and stuff but not an actual champion ribbon like we got the supreme but i want a champion ribbon because they're so cool and then oh okay oh i missed it he reared up he was like play with me mom play <laughs> and then on top of that it is to get through eva 80 <laughs> completely clear in show jumping and cross country <sighs> sorry my hands a bit shaky oh my god yeah happy to see ya <laughs> what is it Kai 
Okay, so as I said, we're home. Now I am inside with little Charlie dog. So I just put stuff on my lips, but they're really red and gross. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. So here are our ribbons. I would have said my places as I was doing the things. So there is six firsts, three seconds, one third, and a fourth. So very good day. And then here is our rug, which I would have had a photo of up anyway. It's a bit big on jet, but that's all good because I can use it over other rugs or I can just use it. I mean, or I can just like put it somewhere in my room. I don't know. But this is our very first ever rug. And I'm very happy with this year, right? Because our first year of competitions is from Barrel Show there to... <coughs> Robertson show there so these right and then our second year of competing which is this year starts from barrel show goes all the way down those three rows these which will take up about another half a row that ribbon there which is my supreme bending and then my three reserve champions so I guess you could say this year was good <laughs> amazing <laughs> but yeah so we still have one more comp which is a horse trials and we are doing the EVA 60 it's Barama horse trials if you're wondering so I'm very excited for that and then that's it for the year which is crazy so it's gonna feel weird not competing it'll be good for us both to have time off and just some light work <laughs> Charlie's happy that we're home <laughs> Jelly! <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you next week! Bye!